Hey Simleys, it's Dilly Grissy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 2, Episode 34. And in this part, we are going to be aging up Ruby into a teenager, which I'm pretty ready for. I think you guys are ready for it too, because we have had Ruby as a child for what seems like ages. And I just have kind of fallen in love with her really spoilt little bratish uh, character. And I'm looking Hello. forward to her being a bit of a um, rebellious slash crazy teenager. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, so we're going to go to school today on a Monday and then probably have a party tonight on Monday night. So she's in her princess outfit and I have selected one of your builds that you guys uploaded onto the gallery. I asked in the last part if you guys would have any creations you could upload with the hashtag and uh, you did. So that was awesome. And I was also reading some comments from you guys which I thought were really uh, really awesome too and uh, one of those comments was if Pearl could wear gloves because she's like a germaphobe so I thought that was a great idea so let's uh, let's get Pearl let's go to the mirror here will she be able to get to it with that pop plant in front yes uh, so she's a bit of a germaphobe so she wears gloves because she's quite um, she's quite OCD and she uh, also is very worried about germs and she's a very anxious kind of sim. So uh, that's kind of how her character is developing. Uh, but just before we do that, I do have comments that I want to read out. So it was Sophie who said you should give Pearl gloves. She's very neat to clean, so she probably wouldn't want to touch anything. Uh, Mackenzie also said, I think Ruby should grow up to be a criminal mastermind. She was spoiled as a child and it all went to her head. Her red head now because she dyed her hair against Barbie's will and 134 of you guys thumbs that up. It's really helpful if you thumbs up other people's comments because it saves me going through like 600 or 300 or 100 or however many hundred comments there might be on a video. It just puts those really good comments to the top so it's really helpful. Uh, Mia also said I think uh, the family should downsize after they have had twins. They should get a beach house and that the house should be a place where Ken and Barbie could retire and it would be a fun beach house whenever the grandkids wanted to visit. So that was kind of cool. Mia got 187 thumbs up for that comment. So clearly a lot of you guys really liked it. And also Marie or Mary said, I think Amethyst and Akash should have a child before they're married. And Barbie doesn't approve mm. because Akash isn't the typical perfect blonde boy for Amethyst and it would be so dramatic please like so Deli will see oh. um, so 35 of you guys really liked that one I thought that was pretty cool and I think Rachel Dunn also said that too yeah oh and she said they move in together because Barbie kicks Amethyst out for having a baby before she's married with Akash so that got 10 thumbs up as well and then there was really long comment from Cake is Amazing Games and she said uh, several things, but she said, I think Barbie would also cancel the maid and say the kids should clean up from, for themselves now more. And Ken would say that pool cleaning and fixing prices and making his hair turn gray. So unless they go outside and enjoy it more, they're going to move houses. So those were just some comments that stood out. Uh, I do like reading out your comments as well so you guys know I've actually seen them and taken them into account. So let's just give, uh, let's give Pearl some gloves for our everyday wear. Uh, because I love, oh no, we can't get gloves for kids. We have to wait until she ages up. Oh, that's a shame. Well, while we're in CAS, we may as well pick Ruby's birthday outfit for tonight. Uh, she's going to be having a princess party at a castle, which you guys will see in a sec. And uh, I love the idea of her having a birthday in a castle because she is spoiled and she loves being Ms. Ruby sitting on her throne. So I think we should definitely do like a red princess dress. I think this is kind of cool. Uh, this one doesn't actually come in red. I mean, we could do like, we could go pinks if we wanted to. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of her being in a ruby red dress. I think that other one I had up here was probably the most extravagant. Oh no, what about this one? She could be like a dark princess. Hmm. Do we want that one? Oh, here we go. This is a princess outfit. Perfect. Is there one with a ruby stone on it? Because that would be mm -hmm. ideal. 
No. That's right. Maybe we'll put her in... Hmm. What's the colour that she suits? Ugh. None of the colours look great with her hair colour. But hey, she's a kid. She's not going to worry about that. She's just going to want the best dress out of everyone. So let's put her in that. She also already has matching shoes on, which I think is perfect, as well as her crown. Did we want to change her hair because it has a crown on it or keep it as is? I think we should keep it as it is, even though she wears it all the time. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. And makeup, I don't think she can really put anything on, can she? So that's pretty much all that we can do, but she would bling up. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we can't even put a necklace on, really, with this dress. But we'll just have to settle for earrings. Uh, so we'll go with matching earrings to her outfit okay that's nice so I don't know if I'm entirely happy with this dress though just it's such a shame it doesn't come in red <laughs> I wanted to wear a red dress damn it oh maybe we should just wear the stock one I think I still think she wants to be a princess princess though Let's just put her in white. There we go. And at least we can bling her up with uh, a big necklace and she can wear her ruby colors. Oh, the necklace has a glitch there, but that's okay. Ah, where are you? There we go. There's the earrings. Cool. I think, I mean, I, yeah, I think that's better than uh, the typical princess dress. We can put maybe Pearl in that dress and then Ruby can get a little jealous of her maybe having a better dress than her. So <gasps> what if Ruby, I've got an idea actually. I think Ruby's gonna get jealous of Pearl at her birthday party and then she's gonna sneak in and cut Pearl's hair and then Pearl will have short hair uh, for a while. I love this idea. Okay, that's so naughty, but I think that's something that sometimes jealous kids, they will actually do that. Like it's not, totally out of the question. Oh, look at her in the blue dress. Yeah, Ruby would probably get so jealous of Pearl, so. I'm gonna put her in pink. I think her in the blue dress looks best with the blue shoes. And I don't think Ruby would let her wear a tiara, so we might just leave her hair braided like that. Unless she has her long hair out, which Ruby gets really jealous of. Uh... Hmm. Maybe this. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so we've got the two girls dressed up as princesses. Amethyst would definitely join in in the princess getup. Uh, let's just give her a secondary. Oh, she's already got a secondary outfit. Mm, I'm gonna change it up. Mm. Maybe Amethyst can go for a typical Amethyst purple look, or she could go with that really old school, crazy gothic dress again. I did like her when we, oh, not that one. Not that one. We don't want to dress up as grim because, <sighs> yeah, nah. Oh. Maybe she just goes like in one of these things. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, this one. I thought this was pretty cool because it's just like, weird and amethyst likes weird things but it's also quite beautiful where is you okay let's go that diamonds are for girls best friend ew not the pearls pearls definitely go do not go with that outfit all right so there's amethyst purple princess look as per requested and her tattoo is showing she probably forgot about it oh my gosh uh, Barbie I'm gonna do next because Barbie is fabulous and oh I love this outfit she looks so freaking good there okay let's put her in that princess outfit that I've always wanted to put on my sims but I never get to because hmm. it's a little too free theatrical oh my gosh Barbie you look so pretty I'm gonna cry okay she's definitely wearing pink we're definitely changing her makeup to I don't think I'll ever grow out of dressing up Barbie. Like, really. Barbie never gets old. And she never ages either. Beautiful. Ken would be like, oh, Barbie looks so beautiful. <laughs> All right, and for Ken, uh, let's put him... Oh. oh, 
my washing machine's going, if you can hear that in the bathroom. I want, like, a Prince Charming suit for him? Yeah. <laughs> All with a ruby red feather. Perfect. And who's left? Just the boys now. Well, Onyx, he... Onyx probably won't even want to get that into, like, the Princess Prince thing. Oh, no, that's all right. His Stocker standard one is fine. And Topaz, he's a bit of a cool dude, so I think he'll just get, like, a funny suit to wear. James's makeover of Topaz was really, really cool. He gave him long hair. I was like... That is a really good idea. I can definitely see Topaz growing his hair long. Give him like one of these hats. I don't know why I feel like he sh all the boys should have hats in this. For this party. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's take off those accessories too. Perfect. Okay, so now we've sorted out all of their clothes. School starts pretty soon. Onyx, I think you really should have a shower. Uh, Topaz, how are you feeling? He's Hello. having a chin wag with Pearl. That's nice. She's probably like, you know, you Pinlo. should really use fly spray <laughs> in your <Yeah>. room. <laughs> All right, and Amethyst is in a weird granny vest today. Liking it a lot. Uh, but how is Topaz's skills going? So his comedy is at five. Uh, he's going to be at school now, so I was going to get him to practice. But what we could actually do is when they have the party, we could get a mic for him to practice his jokes at and entertain. And then maybe Amethyst could even play some guitar because she's level five guitar. She's not fabulous, but she'll get there. And then Barbie's asleep. Oh, look at these two lovebirds sleeping away. Oh, bless. Uh, Elsa, Beyonce, Ruby's off to school. Now let's get Ruby to make friends so we can invite some people to her party. Onyx, your hygiene should be relatively good now so you can go to school. Pearl's feeling aight. Uh, but Topaz will definitely just make friends. And Amethyst, oh my gosh, Amethyst is, <gasps> Amethyst is like an adult, isn't she? So she has to get a job she needs to did we get her a job no let's join a career let's get her into uh -huh. the entertainment career because she wants to be a musician that's what she's good at she's a bookworm too so she could be a writer she could write her own music let's go into entertainer you've wanted your name in the lights from the time you could spell it maybe even before answer your calling and claim your fame as a professional entertainer either making the audience laugh with you that'll be Topaz, or melting their hearts with your melodies. Career branches, musician and comedian. Yeah, girl. What are we? Okay, well, that's good. From our school grades, we got to level two. Okay, so we need to achieve level two of guitar skill, and we also need to write jokes or practice some music. Uh, what I want you to do, Amethyst, is just, can you clean that up real quick? Oh. Okay, you can go into the other room. That's fine. Oh, I love these stones, how they like glow. They pulse. I love that they pulse. Uh, we don't really need that homework book in our inventory anymore. So let's just sell that. And we don't uh, need that, do we? But I'll get rid of that at another stage. All right, so let's go to... Um, what's her, What's this moodlet? Refreshed from camping. Yeah, that's good. Maybe we'll invite Akash over and she's like, can you come over so I can practice my first gig uh, in front of you? So we'll invite her over. Today's mail has been delivered. How about Barbie? Oh my gosh, you owe $36,000. Okay, we cannot afford to live here. Like we need to move. Times are getting tough. Maybe there's been a bit of an economic downfall or something, but I just feel like we can't afford $36,000 each week. <laughs> that is insane. It's insanity. So Barbie, why are you in Pearl's room? Pearl's going to have like an, like a freak out if she uses her little fingerprint reader powder and then realizes there's germs on her desk from Barbie. <laughs> That's probably what she would do. All right, let's get Barbie to resume writing. Pink Tigers don't take naps because she was getting into a writing career. And where's the guitar that I was looking for? 
my gosh, my washing machine is going crazy in the background. Friend's birthday. Everyone seems to be talking about birthday party that Pearl all wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make sense. Should she ask her friend or let her go? Ask the friend. Well, that didn't go well. Pearl only got a shrug for an answer, and now her friend is actively avoiding her. Oh, well, who needs a friend like that anyway? Sigh. Well, I mean, maybe Pearl has... Pearl might end up being a bit of a loner, you know? Uh, she's really clever, but she's a bit of a loner. Kids might think she's a bit weird because she has a lot of, like, phobias of germs and stuff. And, you know, maybe she becomes a loner because people... She's having a tough time in school and people aren't that nice to her. So she becomes more of an introverted kind of person. Let's get a guitar out again for Amethyst. Because I can never keep up with where she leaves her guitars. Honestly. Oh, she's sad now from one less friend. <laughs> oh, Pearl, poor thing. Okay, where are you, Topaz? I mean, not Topaz. He's at school. Akash. Hey, boy. Hi, boy. Okay, let's just ask. Did I say ask to leave? Oh no, just chat. Cool, so we'll chat and then we can go upstairs and perform a little something um, to get ready for a first day of work next day. Wow, her mood went down drastically. Ah, okay. <laughs> dag dag. Dag dag. Cute. Let's do bro bump. <laughs> Quink. Parsifé Probin, Limino, Quar Gorbane. They're cute together, aren't they? Alright, let's go play guitar for Akash. Uh, here we go. Whoa! Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. Hi, guitar, sing songs. Play song. Let's maybe get them to go up here so at least Akash will be in the room with her. And then let's sing a song. Campfire, play a song. Country. Maybe she has a bit of a country twang. Bring my prop. Wait, bring my prop? Bring my... What? What? Country. Bring my prop. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Uh, when Onyx gets to class, he realizes his timeline is due. The one he was supposed to start weeks ago, he eyes the stack of papers piling up on his teacher's desk. All he needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does he try to copy a classmate or confirm some truth? Uh... You know, I think he's the kind of guy to confess. And teacher commands him for his honesty. That's good, I guess. But marks an F next to his name. Next time you won't forget, she smiles. Oh, what an awful teacher. I don't like people like that. All right, Amethyst, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Please stop talking about games. Just listen to my song. Please bring my prop. Please bring my prop. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean by That's really nice, Amethyst. Is your skill increasing? Good. Oh, good. Akash is listening. Oh, that's it. Well, how about you practice a bit? <laughs> Rejected. Akash, you need to like support her, not just distract her. Yeah. Nice one. Just get a couple of screenshots. Okay, we want her to get really good. She's going to be like a country music artist and Barbie's going to be pretty proud of her. Ruby has met Molly while at school. Good stuff. We are going to have to, uh, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat to cheer her up. Because I do want her to uh, skill up her level. So I am going to cheat her need right now. Because I really want that level to go up quickly. And you guys said in this LP, you give me permission to cheat. All right, so Barbie is writing a book. Good stuff, good stuff. What is her writing level at, actually? Where's her skill level at? Uh, da, 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 da. Wow, she's got a lot of different skills. 
Uh, did I go past that? No, her writing level's only at two, so she's got a long way to go. It's just like a hobby while she's not having babies. Usually she'll be having babies. Uh, Topaz has met Dylan while at school. Hello, Dylan. Cool. Uh... I don't know if Topaz would be bi as such, but I feel like he would probably experiment. I mean, I reckon he's the type of guy who's probably like kissed guys before, even though he probably identifies as straight. I don't know. I just see him as being a bit experimental. Uh, Amethyst is with Akash. Barbie. Let's give a can. Ruby has met Wolfgang at school. Oh no. We all know Wolfgang's a little bit badass. Oh, and Molly, and Luna. <laughs> Honey. All right, well, I reckon what I'll do is finish this part right here and we'll have the party in the next part. Sorry, I didn't have the party in this part. I just wanted to organize a few things. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys at the princess and prince party in the next part. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.